The 12th annual launch of Backpacks for Hope kicks off tomorrow. The campaign helps children make sure they're prepared for the next school year. Here to talk about this is the CEO of Texas Advocacy Project, Heather Bellino. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate this opportunity. Well, can you explain what this campaign is for and who it's helping? Oh, it's one of my favorite campaigns that Texas Advocacy Project hosts. This is an opportunity for the community to donate backpacks and school supplies so that we can fill them and share them with the shelters throughout the state. And in those backpacks, we're able to put our 800 legal line number so that the people that are in those shelters with their kiddos have access to free attorneys and social workers so that they can get long-term safety. What other kind of items are really needed for them? Well, imagine anything that you have sent your child to school with or that you've gone to school with in your life that makes you a successful student, right? So that's all of the school supplies. It might be a ruler, crayons, markers. It might be paper or notebooks, but all of those things that we just as students naturally had at our exposure that maybe if you are living in a shelter and you're going to school for the first time in a new area that you might not have. Now give us an idea of the scope of this. How many backpacks do you normally fill every year? Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, the need keeps growing. This year we've had requests for 2,100 backpacks. So that represents 2,100 children that are living in shelter today with their parent who have had to escape an abusive home. These are kids that are going to school and already feel like they're a fish out of water and don't know what's gonna happen next. So we're just trying to make them have an opportunity to feel like every other student in a classroom, not to be singled out, to blend in with others, and to make sure that the parent that's got them in shelter with them can feel safe and secure with their child going to school. You know, this is the 12th annual event. How did this campaign get started at the beginning? Well, you know, we actually looked back and, and started talking about this recently. It, it really came from just a need in the community. We were talking to advocates at shelters that were saying that these kids were going to school with, you know, a plastic bag from the grocery store and, and what little supplies they could drum up to take with them and that how that made those children feel. And then we were talking to the parents that were, you know, bringing their children into these classrooms and already were feeling so badly about changing their circumstances and moving them and not knowing what the next step was going to look like. And so Backpacks for Hope was born and it just really is a way to stay in touch with shelters to make sure children are covered and are ready for their first day at school and to make sure that the parent that is trying to get them to safety feels good about their choices and, and has the resources available so that they can get long-term safety through free civil legal services, which is what we provide at Texas Advocacy Project. Finally, how can people help? Uh, please visit our website at www.texasadvocacyproject.org. I know it's a long name, but you're going to list it on the show later on. But visit that website so that you can find out drop-off locations in your community. Tomorrow is the official big launch that we're going to be working with Accenture, our partner organization. But we have multiple drop-off locations. There will be plenty in your area. So check out our website and see where you can donate a backpack or school supplies and maybe get involved with a volunteer opportunity. So so that we can stuff them and get them all ready to ship out. Let's hope people are listening. Heather Bellino, the CEO with Texas Advocacy Project, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you so very much for shining a light on this important cause. Have a wonderful night.